What you doing right now? I'm building chairs for this event, man. Let me. I thought this was it. I am building the greatest chairs in the world. One second. How do you feel? 
I never won raffles, so that's pretty cool. What made you guys want to participate in Kickstarter? I'm curious. You were like... Just big fans of your YouTube channel. Yeah? For a casual players, why you? You guys aren't playing like in the current meta? Or, uh, yeah, I'll like, admit I'm casual, I know. I just told YouTube I'm casual, but... I'm very casual. Sacro? Yeah. That was funny. I went to, when I went to Worlds, I don't know if you guys saw any of those videos. Uh, we went to Worlds with Konami, and they were like, hey, you guys want to do tournaments? And I was like, hey, I brought a deck. And they were like, oh, really? And I was like, so can we do it? And they were like, sure. So we ended this little tournament there, and I pulled out my deck, and it was three times Exodia, three times Pot of Green, three times Grace of Charity, and then they got mad at me, and I got the It was all good, though. <laughs> uh, it sounds like an actual piece of deck. Simply Unlucky impacted you and Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, sometimes I would really want to buy the newest packs, but I just don't have the money for it. So you know what? I just go Simply Unlucky, watch this pack opening, and it makes, you feel, it makes me feel better. Like, and when, I love what I could have got. And, 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 and then when he gets unlucky, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm glad I didn't spend money on that. No, but you know what? His personality, like, uh, just, uh, yeah, I just really uh, admire that uh, he's been with this community for so long. And, uh, that, uh, yeah. Yeah, he just uh, kind of brought us all together at this point. Yeah, clearly now, right? Yeah, right. Alright, man, uh, 
uh, what about you? Uh, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh since yeah. I was probably like third grade, which, is, oh man, I'm old. <laughs> 16, 17 years ago, I think. Um, and I, st I stopped playing for a while, like right when Brown Pendulum started coming back, and that his videos came up, I started watching his videos and the duels, and like it just brought back all this stuff. I'm like, yeah, I want to get back in, and, and I'm so glad I did. It's just so, so much fun. And just like he showed me like his go format, so it just brings back like all these childhood cards that I used to have. And, uh, it's so nice, and this is this a nice store already. It's gonna, it's gonna be even nicer eventually. Yeah. So I think like, I actually haven't played modern Yu-Gi-Oh for a really long time now, but me and a couple of buddies, we decided to kind of get back into it, and we started playing Gold Format, which is uh, the 2005 format. And it has all these OG cards, in the, including these band cards right here, which we call the Trinity. <laughs> but, uh... But essentially, you guys kind of brought all these friends together, and uh, there's a lot of different ways you can play. Like, you don't have to just play the modern format. And uh, just playing OG Yu Gi Oh! Like, put all my friends together, and uh, like, we're here. Like, you see what uh, Simply My Lucky has done. So, it's great. It brings people together, you know? It really does. So, we got Matt, Tyler. Tyler? Okay, and we, got, we also got. Tristan? Yes. Okay. So, how has Simply Unlucky impacted you guys and Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, well, it definitely got me back into the game. I quit for a while and uh, I started looking at Roman's videos and it just reinvigorated my love for the game, I guess. It uh, got me back into it after I quit completely, so definitely uh, heavily impacted me. Uh -huh. I'd you, man? say the hardcore passion for the game. Uh, love that there's someone out there that actually shares just as much passion. So <laughs> it gets me excited to come to the game shop and play more. Yeah. I've always, um, I've always collected, so uh, it's nice to get back into collecting. And it was good to get my actually my little cousins who were growing up. I was able to get them to uh, collect, and then eventually they got into dueling. And then as they got older. Awesome. First purchase, man. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna get. Yeah. For sure. First man to purchase. Let's see. Let's see. Anybody else want anything on my here? So we got. Lena. Uh, so the question is, how has simply unlucky impacted you and Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, well. What's up, man? Yeah. Right, thank you for answering the question. So we have. Uh, I'm Edgar. So the question is, how has Simply Unlucky impacted you and Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, I started playing again like, probably a couple of years ago, going just because of Simply Unlucky, like, and then I got turned into the table. So we've both been playing every time we get a chance. So. Awesome. Okay, so introduce yourself. My name's Dominic. My name's Jose. Okay, so the question is, how has Simply Unlucky impacted you and Yu-Gi-Oh? He got us back into playing the game, and his way of saying Ginzo as Gizno stuck with us, and we can't stop saying it at this point. Jesse Jitsugi out of the Mojave that presents the cards on his channel it makes us want to go back and play the cards ourselves. It's very fun. Does everyone have a raffle? Ruling? Judge? No? I didn't get raffle? Nope. Raffle? Okay, so it's... Uh, what's the... Listen? Two, 
two, four, one. Three, seven. One, seven. That's the pure, the pure blame, man, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! That one's pretty. Oh, baby! Oh, baby. Where's the signature? Where's the signature? Woo! Number one. Hi, I'm, I'm Baby Man. Uh, also, my name is Daniel. Um, I'm a local here in Modesto, and uh, I've actually known Simple and Lucky for quite a few years now. I've met him at our local bar shop, and uh, I played a magic with him and uh, delved into Yu-Gi-Oh a little bit. And you know, I started my own YouTube channel after watching him and opening packs for years now, and it really inspired me because he's a local person. And it's like I'm so close to this person that has really got there and is doing so well for himself. And now here today in his shop, it's, it's really like uplifting to me to start continuing doing my own videos. What's up? My name's Kwan, and I've been watching Simply Unlucky for like the past six years. And it is what actually got me back into playing more competitive style Yu-Gi-Oh! I really enjoy just collecting the games, or the cards, and just playing with a bunch of friends at home. Um, I haven't been in any, to any like locals or anything, so I'm hoping to come here to play some uh, locals with uh, the people around here. What's up, you two? Sign of cards, but first I'm saying thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sleeved in the blue eyes, ultimate dragon in the slide for the sky dragon. Pristine, baby. Oh, baby. The you feel music in the back. You guys don't need to stop talking. He's what he's doing is like just he's just inputting himself in. So technically, that was already our conversation. Don't be afraid of the camera, Lindsay. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? What's, What's up, YouTube? What's up? Oh, baby! Oh, baby! And then we'll just get some footage. Alright, you guys. So we're giving away the goodie bags. And this is what we gave away to those that made it out to the game shop for a signed card. The ultimate rare. The dog. Magician. 241. 37. 1. 1. Where's your goodie bag? Where's my goodie bag? Oh, you can't see it. Let's show them what's inside. Let's show them what's inside, ladies. Why, thank you. So inside, you guys, they got themselves a Rocket Revolt structure deck. Brand new, just came out. Epic. We threw in the new set of speed duels because some of them didn't bring decks and I figured they could make some decks with some speed duels. Or play a whole bunch of rocket mirror matches. That'd be interesting. Uh, we had some special editions for Dark Neo Storm, so we thought we could throw that in. Get you some product. And for those that are interested, you know somebody, maybe one. It's Ultimate Rare Sign card. We talked about that early though. Beautiful, beautiful. And then last but not least, the one and only. The only 50 ever made. I don't know if I can out there. Yep, here we go. The Celestial Duelist, Yugi and Kaiba Flame. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, uh, we, didn't, we didn't unbox them yet. Oh, you guys didn't unbox them? You want to unbox them? If you want to. Yeah, we can unbox them. There's some good stuff in here. Uh, you guys are going to show us. What? You guys are going to show us. We got Dark Near Storm. Special edition. Oh, okay. The rocket structure deck that just like came out two days ago. <laughs> That's not stolen. And then we have the same stuff, right? Yeah. Alright. Looks like it. You got a pack. And a 
an ultimate rare signed rock magician by Simply Unlucky himself. Got one too, I think. And then, we do what play match do you got? I think it's like a different play match, maybe. <laughs> My, one of my good friends over here, Colin Burns, he felt pretty bad he didn't get a goodie bag. And he came all the way out here. So, all the way? We're going to give him a goodie bag. And he's got the Dragon Ball shirt, the Pokemon hat, and he's playing Yu Gi Oh! with anime girls. This is your guy right here. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about the goodie bag? Huh? How do you feel about the goodie bag? I feel great. I mean, we got a dark neon storm on the back. Rockets were lost. Rockets were lost. What was the rocket drink? And by the way, guys, if you want your playmat signed, just let me know. I just don't want to make you guys have to take it. Sign right now. You guys unboxing yours? Oh, there they go. We got all that with that. There's more to come, though. more to come. Dude, I love this. This is my favorite one. Oh yeah, it's so nice. This is by far the coolest one. I love it. And now with the items, I can get Slack for Raw and Opalus. Yeah. Or not get, not him. Yeah, we'll have all three now. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Do I need to commentate or just... Well, if you want to. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know exactly what's in here. I know I know. I kind of want the fire, fire fist stuff. Yeah, he's got it there. I don't know. I just, I always like the significance of like what's on the front. So whenever I, um, like the first time I ever did that was Thousand Eyes Restrict way back when. So this is something I was like, Tiger King. Summon Skull gets like all this new stuff because it's just like the one monster, so it's just like, all this other stuff. I can try and speed up if you want. Oh, there we go. Ooh. I don't know how much it is, but Dark is cool. Or my reader. Reader? Before? Yeah. Dang. I mean, not before, before, because we had. Torn off walls and everything already. But. Did you introduce yourself, Ben? This is Ben. No. Ben, the man with the plan. He's the one that helped the shop come to life. Definitely. It was fun. It took a lot of arguing, but we figured it out. <laughs> okay. All right. You, you pick yours. You get to pick one as well. It's a recording. Yeah, this will be the first oh, wait, pack pull in the, the opening of the shop. Yeah, we just bought three packs. We bought three packs. Which one are you taking? Which one's it? Was it? Okay, you're taking that one. No, you're not. Alright, I'll ask him. I'm gonna pick the one closest to me because it wants me. You go first. Okay. You go first. The first prismatic opening. The first prismatic opening. Here we go. Prismatic opening. Yeah, he actually has purchased these packs. These are not simple like your packs. Let's see it. Have you seen a prismatic before? Yes. Okay. I, uh, yeah, I saw, I think all four. I think I saw, like, a lot of them. The first prismatic opening of the show. Interesting way to open a pack. Oh yeah, it's ma the magic style. I've never. This is my second pack I've ever opened in Yu-Gi-Oh. A pull third. Up, pull up prismatic. Third. Because the. Here we go. Well, I don't. Do it. I don't know where the Just rare is. It's what in the number? middle. It's in the middle. Oh. It's, it's probably not a prismatic. It's not. That's the rare. Isn't it? <laughs> well, well, it is. Oh, ultra. Oh, ultra rare. Ultra, that's good. You got yourself a solid uh, dollar or two back there. Nice. All right, Dan. All right. Danny's up. Ooh, baby. Okay, at least you get the profit. Watch, no, it'll be Lindsay. Marin Sescar. Oh, oh, that's the other one. You guys got matching cards. They're Ooh, both. Baby. They're both dream mirrors. Yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. All right, Lindsay, let's get it. Okay, how many prismatics has she opened? She's opened a lot. How many have you opened? Three. Three. Yeah, she's opened three prismatics. Three prismatics. Now it's number four, right here, Lens. Oh my gosh, is that actually one? Is that, is that, no, I think, that, I think that's actually here one. Go. I think it is. And there it is. Oh my gosh! It's the Where? next one. Go! Oh! <laughs> that's not it. Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> what a burst of joy, all broken. Hey, you guys doing good? Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Oh, baby. <laughs> without you and uh, each individual one of you I thank you so much for being here I know you guys all came from all over California and Oregon we had a couple of Oregon, Oregon and uh, just couldn't do it without you guys and uh, even the YouTube guys I know you guys are on there watching right now this is thanks to you and uh, obey <laughs> By the way, guys, the flowers was because Alex for like putting flowers in the Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. Blue for Kaiba, white for somebody, red for Yugi. All right, you guys, the cut of the Simple and Lucky Cake. Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 dun, da, da, da. Look at that, right down the middle. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Perfect. I actually don't like this. <laughs> it's all good. It's for you guys. What's up, you two? Soon. Oh, lucky. Sunny!